Hello and welcome to this HBC Kids Talk. My name is Heather and it's great to be with you this morning. Well today we are continuing our Lent series, thinking all about getting to know Jesus better and understanding how we can follow him. But before we do that, I have a 60 second challenge for you. I want you to get just two or three bits of paper like this and they are going to be your islands. And imagine that the floor in the room where you're in is the sea. And I want you to see whether only treading on the islands you can get from one side of the room to the other. Your whole family. Maybe if there are more than four of you, you could use three bits of paper. Unless I reckon you could do it with two. Are you ready? Are you steady? Then go! Did you manage to make it across the sea without falling in? Well, we also have a little bit of a water theme to today's talk. Over the past few weeks, we have looked at some of Jesus' miracles and thought about he, how he provides for us and how he wants us to be a part of the work that he is doing here on earth. And today, we are thinking about how we can keep going as followers of Jesus. So, let's take a look at today's story from Matthew chapter 14 and verses 22 to 33. One morning, out on the Sea of Galilee, Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, received a big lesson in trusting Jesus. Peter and some of the other disciples were in a boat in the Sea of Galilee, when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they see someone coming towards them. And it looks like, no, it can't be. But yes, it is. They're walking on the water. It's, it's Jesus. Look, it's Jesus. After the disciples realised that Jesus wasn't a ghost, Peter asked Jesus if he could join him. So Jesus said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and he started to walk towards Jesus. Imagine that, walking on water. How incredible is that? But then Peter listened to the wind, which might have sounded a bit like this. And he looked down at the waves, which were kind of splashing all around his feet like this. And suddenly Peter was very afraid and he started to sink. Peter cried out to Jesus, help me, help me, Jesus. Jesus reached out his hands and he caught Peter and he said to him, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? You see, when Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he was able to do something that humanly he wouldn't normally be able to do, walk on water. But when Peter took his eyes off of Jesus and looked instead at the wind and the waves around him, he became afraid and he started to sink. And sometimes Jesus invites us to do things that humanly are not at all easy. Imagine one day you sense Jesus asking you to go and share your faith with a friend. To begin with, you think while you're focusing on Jesus and what he's saying to you, you might think, 
Yes, I'll do that. It isn't easy, but if I trust in Jesus to help me, then I'll be okay. But then you start to listen to the thoughts inside your head, which are a bit like the wind and the waves. You might think things like, I can't possibly do that. I might lose a friend. Oh, I don't want to make a fool of myself. Before long, you feel really afraid and you don't do what Jesus has asked you to do. If you kept your focus on Jesus, then maybe you could have shared your faith with your friend, which may have been really amazing, like walking on the water. So today, we want to encourage one another to keep our focus on Jesus. When he asks us to do something that isn't naturally easy, let's keep our focus on him. Let's trust him and let's enjoy walking by faith. <laughs>